Midi Goblin is coming back as Midi Goblin 1.5. This time it's got audio output and a lo-fi polyphonic synthesizer firmware called Pingler. Named after our kitty cat, Pingo. Pingler has five voices of polyphony. Two waveforms per voice with stereo panning. There's dozens of different waveforms to choose from, and each one can run in 16, 8, or 4-bit mode. The mix of the waves is displayed on the OLED screen as well. You can adjust the oscillator alignment manually via MIDI or through the interface, and you can wrap the phase alignment automatically at variable speeds using the phase wrapper. You can shift the pitch of oscillator 2 up or down an octave, there's an ADSR envelope and low pass filter with cutoff frequency and resonance. And a per voice LFO that has depth and speed, as well as 18 different patch points. You can affect oscillator pitch individually, in unison, or crossfade between the two at variable rates. and the LFO speed goes up to 11. It can affect the low pass filter's cutoff frequency, the phase wrapper misalignment, warp oscillator phases while crossfading, and distort oscillator phases individually or in unison. Just like the oscillators, there's dozens of waveforms to choose from, and they can all run at 16, 8, or 4-bit mode. Using a lower bit rate can result in strange but pleasant artifacting. And the ADSR envelope can also affect LFO properties. The LFO also has three additional waveforms. There's average, which is the average of oscillator 1 and 2 shapes. The mix of oscillator 1 and 2 and alignment in real time. And this little guy called Warble. It moves around and makes things sound warbly. There's about 25 different parameters. They can all be edited through the interface using the Waves or LFO screen, the Controller screen using the Directional buttons and Encoder, using an external MIDI controller, and a very unique feature is that everything can be remapped, so you can use a different synthesizer to control all the settings. I don't think any other hardware synth does this, which is kind of weird. Unfortunately, Pingler can't run all those crazy MIDI Goblin apps, but it can save patches. MIDI Goblin 1.5 can run Pingler or MIDI Goblin. You just need to switch the firmware. The original MIDI Goblin was brought to life by crowdfunding through Kickstarter and BackerKit. As a big thank you to all the original backers, I've created modding instructions so you can upgrade to 1.5 at home. Turns out all that time spent redesigning the board was worth it. MIDI Goblin is a one-person project, supervised by Pingo. A lot of the assembly is done by hand, and there's a lot of coding involved. The original MIDI Goblin was priced irresponsibly low. Although all the units did ship, I'm still using my Dollarama paychecks to pay off those t-shirts. MIDI Goblin 1.5 will be $250, which is a reasonable price for a five-voice polysynth that can also do all this cool MIDI stuff too. A very limited number of Midi Goblin 1.5s will be available to order through Backer Kit on April the 30th. Go to midigoblin.com and join the mailing list. I'll send you a reminder email when the pre-orders go live.